Everybody's always asking what kind of loans we do here at Columbia Green Federal Credit Union. Let's tell them. Holiday. Consolidation. Quads. Snowmobiles. Boats. Back to school. Lawnmowers. Campers. Motorcycles. First time auto buyers. Weddings. Trucks. Heating oil. RVs. Furniture. Vet bills. Dirt bikes. Vacations. Appliances. Home improvements. Pools. Jet skis. Home equity. Anything at all. You want it? We got it. All right, welcome back to the Press Box, presented by Columbia Green Federal Credit Union. Now, what happened uh, since last week you were on with Coach Lampman? Uh, Catskill won the Patroon Conference. Yes, they did. And I'll tell you, this is my favorite time of the year. Right. I mean, the regular season is over, which makes you kind of sad, but now we're going into the postseason. Now it's it's the best against the best, and uh, we'll, we'll find out once and for all who are the top teams in Section 2 in each classification. But, but yes, uh, congratulations to the Catskill Cats and Coach Doug Lampman yep. and Andy Jones, his assistant, um, and Patrick Hernandez, uh, and the boys. They, they, they did such a tremendous job this year. Uh, they had that early loss uh, mm -hmm. to Hudson. Uh, early on in the season, they, they avenged that loss and then won out, and and they deserved to win this Patroon Conference title, it which is. incidentally is their sixth in eight years, which is an incredible feat. So congratulations to Coach Lamb and, mm -hmm. and the guys for, for all they've done. Definitely, and we have a little special, uh, some words from the team, presented That's right. by uh, Brandon Ecott yes. over there, and we'll get to that in a little bit, but first we want to jump into the sectional tournaments. Sure. We got the seedings uh, right. this week, and Class D, our highest ranked team, is Germantown. Absolutely, and, and you know what? They deserve that. Yeah. Uh, they're, they're the number two seed in Class D, uh, OESJ, which is uh, Oppenheim, Ephrata, St. Johnsville. Right. <laughs> I got that right, I think. <laughs> It's a miracle, but uh, they're they're the number one seed in yeah. Class D. But Germantown certainly deserving uh, of a top seed. They're number two. Uh, they finished the season eighteen and two and um, riding a seventeen game win streak. They were undefeated right. in Central Hudson Valley League play. Uh, the only thing I see is their first game uh, is the twenty fourth. So yeah, they, they have a first bye. round bye exactly because of the, the way that the D bracket is, is set up and, they, mm -hmm. and there's so few teams in Class D. But. Uh, by the time they play on the 24th, they'll have been off more than two weeks. Yeah. So that that could be a bit of a problem. But I'm sure Coach Derek Conti will have the team maybe scrimmaging and, and, and working right. real hard to, to stay prepared for this. But uh, I, I see Germantown definitely making a move in Class D, definitely. possibly winning it. There, there's some yeah. good teams in Class D. You always have some good teams up north, the Argyles, the Whitehalls, and, mm -hmm. and OESJ. I'll right. shorten that down a little bit. Um, Will be a, a, a tough competitor as well, but I, I could see Germantown winning this thing. I yeah, mean, I'm looking definitely. forward to seeing the Clippers play, but but again, they won't play until Saturday the 24th. And um, I know their fans will travel in mass to they watch will. the guys play. Um, they'll be playing the 24th up at uh, Stillwater High School. I think it's yeah. a 4:30 start too, it is, so yeah. that should be good. And they'll be playing the winner of Hartford and Northville. Yes, and we also have we're pretty well represented in D this year. Absolutely. Uh, New Lebanon is the number five seed playing Fort Plain, mm -hmm. and Hawthorne Valley got number eight seed playing against Loudonville Christian. So three teams from, from our coverage area yeah. making the Class D sectionals very, very nice. Very good. And in Class C, we have a couple teams mm -hmm. going too. No doubt about it. Yes, we do. We have Maple Hill, which uh, finished the season strong. This is a Fair team so. absolutely that, that, that peaked at just the right time. You want to be playing your best basketball at the end of the season and they did just that. They yeah. of course had the big upset win over Hudson on Hudson's senior night on Hudson's home floor uh, that knocked the Blue Hawks uh, from uh, possibly a share of the Patroon Conference title and then they gave Catskill all it could handle in yeah. uh, the, the season finale before falling by 11 points but but uh, Coach Hanrahan has got that team playing playing well right now, and, yeah. and I could see them maybe making a little move themselves. I mean, yeah. they could be a surprise team there. I uh, finished up 13-7 and seven and, a, and a strong 13-7. Yeah, and they're a number six seed. They yes. play the winner of Canada Harry in Cambridge, mm -hmm. and we also have Greenville gets number 10. They're heading oh. out to Burn Knox. Oh, the Spartans. And, and this is a matchup uh, that, that uh, actually happened earlier in the season yeah. in, in the uh, Dwaynesburg tournament, the Christmas tournament, uh, a great game that, that, that Greenville won, 66-64. Mm -hmm. And they won that, that that tournament, in fact. But uh, Greenville's another team to, to watch out for. I mean, yeah. I know they they benefit from playing against uh, some some tough competition in the Patroon Conference. So some bigger schools, uh, and their out of conference schedule was good. And, and and of course they've got Cole Ackerman and and Damian Fiducia and, and the gang. I mean, both of yeah. those kids can score. You know, at will and, and, and in bunches. I mean, Cole can average anywhere between twenty and thirty points a game, and and, and then some on any given night. And Damian's as a, just a freshman.
freshman, has mm -hmm. uh, been averaging in double digits throughout as well. So look out for Greenville and Dane Carpenter. Definitely. And moving on to Class B, mm -hmm. we have three teams going in Class yes. B. It's kind of kills, which yes. both thought probably should have been a C class, right. but they're just just above the mark going in Class B, and they have a tough game coming up. That's what's so confusing to a lot of people yes. about these classifications. I mean, they'll be C in football, but B in basketball. Right. But uh, you know what? Hats off to the Titans. I mean, uh, mm -hmm. they, they knew going in they're going to be a Class B school, and in, in, in Class B is loaded, yes. as always. And uh, But but they finished 10-10. and 10. Coach Tom Super did a great job this year, and, and I... I think should absolutely get some consideration for coach of the year in the Patron Conference this year. Yeah. I do say so myself, uh, but of course my word means nothing, but but, but that's just my opinion. But uh, but just a great year for them, and, and it's a nice way to honor Russ Beck as well. I mm -hmm. mean, here's a senior that, 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 that broke the school record for scoring this year, uh, had a great year, he's a gamer, and I think it's a nice way for him to go out as well in his senior year to to go to the sectionals, yes. and uh, they get a tough draw, though. I, yeah. I mean, absolutely. The, the Titans are seeded 13th in Class B, and they will uh, be playing Wood of Elite, yep. which is, uh, as Hudson knows, a, a very, very tough team, very athletic team. Joey Atkins is a great scorer, can average 20 to 30 points a game himself. Mm -hmm. They've got some young kids on the team, just very athletic Wood of Elite squad. It's going it's to be a tough game for Takana Kills, but, hey, sectional time, yeah. anything can happen. That's right. And also Hudson. Oh, that's got the number six seed. Definitely, you know what? And I think that's a very nice seed for the Blue Hawks. It is. Uh, they had that, that that unfortunate setback at home against Maple Hill that again knocked them out of a share of the Patroon Conference Championship. But nonetheless, they finished fourteen and two and sixteen and four overall during the regular season. And you know what? I think a lot of people might look at that and say, "Well, that's kind of a down year for Hudson, sixteen and four a down yeah. year." But but it's Hudson's had so much success over the past few years. Uh, but the fact that they didn't win the Patroon. Don't don't look at that at all. Right. I mean, this was a transitional year for Hudson. A lot of newcomers on the team. Mm -hmm. A lot of young kids are trying, still trying to find that that leadership quality in, in, in the kids. And 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 then again, so many things happen. Willie Jones moving out of the right. district uh, in the middle of the year. Uh, a couple of kids uh, taking some time off to work on their grades. Yep. Uh, just so many things that happened to the Hawks this year. I think sixteen and four is a great accomplishment for this team. Uh, and and they brought some young kids up from from the JV team in Leviticus Johnson and Noah Hedgepeth. And um, I, I think Hudson got a good matchup. They're, they're, they're playing Mechanicville at home on Tuesday night in their first round game. Should they win that, they would most likely play Shalmont. Shalmont has to play Broad Auburn Perth in the first round. Mm -hmm. And um, I, I think Hudson matches up well against Shalmont. So, yep. well, well, but, but of course, Shalmont's got to get past Broad Auburn Perth, but they should. And I think that would set up a really nice matchup. But first things first, I know Coach Briscoe would say don't yep. overlook M Mechanicville. Mechanicville. So that's right. first round, Tuesday night, 7.30 in Hudson. Also Tuesday night, Bringing it back to Catskill, oh. we've got the number five seed going against number twelve Fonda. Oh, you know what? The Cats definitely earned that 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 home that first home game uh, in the first round. Uh, they've got Fonda, which is number twelve. Yep. I, I think that's the Cats game right there. I think it's going to be a good crowd. It's going to be an electric atmosphere. Cats are the number five seed in a very yep. loaded Class B field. Uh, of course, you got McKeel Quick Christian at number one. Yep. You've got Glens Falls and JG three at number two. Mm -hmm. You've got um, uh, Skylar uh, Shaman, I should say, sure. at number three, and then Water. Elite Four, fifth is Catskill, and I think Catskill can, can play with any of those teams above yep. them, and um, I, I think they're going to get the chance because uh, they, they, they play that far on the team, and then uh, should they win there, they, they take on the winner of that Takana Kills Water Elite game, and right. uh, that's going to be a barn burn. I'm yep. looking forward to that. Definitely. Very much. Now, taking back to Catskill, we're going to send it off to Brandon Ecott, talking to a couple of the, uh, some of the five of the players, mm -hmm. I believe, over at Catskill, and talk a little bit about their season. Roll them. I'm Brandon Ecott here with the Casco basketball team. Guys, what has been your success this year? Uh, our success has come from working hard every day. Coach always preaches that we come in the gym and get better and leave better than we were when we entered the gym. And we push each other every day and we just get better. What is your favorite memory of the season so far? Uh, playing at Cole Green against Hudson, our rival. The environment was just insane. It was just a great game. Uh, my favorite moment was when we played Rensselaer at Rensselaer. When uh, Justin, he dunked on this kid, he took like one dribble and just bang. <laughs> and uh, yeah, th that, that was my favorite part. So uh, what are your goals for the rest of the season? The goals for the rest of the season are to go in a sectional strong, go to the Civic Center, win sectionals, and try to make a state run. What are your goals for the rest of the season? To uh, push my teammates, make them better, and it's essential for us to get to the Civic Center so we can beat any other team. Essentially. 
essentially. Thank you guys, good luck on the rest of the year. All right, thanks for that, Brandon. That was great. Uh, now, getting over into the girls' side of the bracket, we have quite a few teams going there, too. No doubt about it. Uh, we've got the, the B bracket, again, kind of like leads everything out there in the, in, the, in the girls' situation. I mean, you've got Hudson playing a home game right. against Cohoes on uh, on Tuesday night. Mm -hmm. You've got uh, Ichabod Crane hitting the road to play uh, Glens Falls. And, of course, you've got Catskill hitting the road as well to play Shalmont. Hudson has uh, drawn the number 7 seed. Uh, yep. They are as the number 7 seed. They play number 10, Cahoes. And, um, it's, again, I think it goes to show the strength of the Class B bracket in the girls yeah. uh, as well. Because here's, here's Hudson with a 17-3 and right. overall record and runner-up in the Patroon Conference standings. And they're a number 7 seed. Yeah. How do you figure that? 17-3 and, and you're number 7? Come on now. Yeah. But... Um, I, I think they deserve to be a little higher, but you know what? I'm sure Coach Bi Bryce Ivory is just fine with that. You know what? You gotta yep. you gotta beat the best to be the best, and and they'll start step one on Tuesday night against Cohoes at home. It should be a great crowd there. I'm hoping so because it's a double header night for the Blue Hawks. I mean, right. the, the girls play at six, guys play at seven thirty. Come on out and support your team. Absolutely. Now before we get to those, we have a couple playing games tonight, Friday night. Mm -hmm. uh, Carol Durham is hosting Schaharie, Chatham yes. heads to Stillwater, and Germantown is playing host to Whitehall. That's right. Uh, we don't know a lot about Whitehall. They play up in the north up right. there, the the, uh, the uh, Adirondacks. and uh, I know they're 7-11. and 11. they got a couple of kids that can shoot the three. It seems like everybody up north, either boys yeah. or girls, shoot the three very well. But uh, Germantown it comes in as a number six seed, and I'm looking forward, forward to seeing the, the Clippers move on there. I think they can. Definitely. And moving on to... Uh, we also have Maple Hill and Greenville mm -hmm. down in Class C. Right. Greenville, Patroon Conference champion, beat out Hudson in a good game the other night. A very good team, and they should be fun to watch in postseason. And uh, speaking of that, I want to congratulate Coach Brian Haller and, and the ladies for, for their, their uh, championship in the Patroon this year. Uh, they, they avenged an earlier loss to Hudson, 63-60 right. over at their place, which is a very tough place to play. They came into Hudson and uh, pulled out a 54-43 victory. I watched that game, and I'll tell you what. They put on that press against Hudson, and uh, it, it, usually it's the other way around. Hudson yeah. puts on that press, and, and, and they, the other team would be discombobulated. But, but it was strange to see uh, that happen to Hudson, where somebody yeah. threw the press on them, and uh, they, they couldn't figure it out, couldn't adjust uh, well enough to, uh, to get the ball across the timeline, threw a lot of errant passes, a lot of turnovers, and just, just a great all-around effort by uh, Green Villa. But, but congratulations to them, and, and congratulations to Coach Ivory and Sheldon as well and the girls, because uh, Hudson had, had another you know, transitional year with a lot of new kids coming up and uh, had a great year as well. So, uh, so nothing to hang your head about there, ladies. You've got the postseason coming up, and time to, time to, time to show out. Definitely. So lots of games next week. Hopefully the teams will be playing past Tuesday. I think That's we'll get quite a few that move mm -hmm. on. But we'll, uh, we'll talk to you next week and recap those games. This is uh, the Press Box presented by Columbia Green Federal Credit Union.